Hello and welcome back to yet another glorious video. Today we are also continuing the EX01 questions with FT string copy. This just takes one string, the source, and replicates it to the destination. And so our question says reproduce the behavior of the function string copy. So if you were to man, man string cpy, you're going to see basically this here, stcpy function copy the string source to destination, including the terminating null character. And if you see how we prototype it, this prototyping is kind of confusing, S1 and S2. So if you look at man, it's got, if we were to scroll down here a little bit, where is this? This one here. Destination is the first one and source is the second one. Now also here is that it's using char for the first but const char for the second, but it says, all right, well we can just use char and char. So we're gonna, we're just gonna do that. So I've taken the liberty of already including the STDIO for our testing, as well as putting the prototyping here and the main. So what shall we do with this one? Well, we need to remember that S1 is going to be our destination and S2 is the source. So let's take an iterator so we can iterate through and keep track of where we're at. We're gonna start with index value zero. Now, now we need a loop while, and this is going to say while the S2, while S2, hit I, so we want to maintain while that is true, and we are going to do S1 at spot I is going to equal S2 at spot I, and then we iterate over, and that's it for this part, but remember, we need to also include the null terminator. So once this reaches false, we are at the null terminator. Now there's two ways you can do this. You can do S1 at spot I is equal to S2 at spot I. And that is just going to put the null terminator because we're already at it. But the other way that I personally like to do it is to just specifically say S1 is equal to, where's my typing? The null terminator, just like that. So that should be it for the function int i while s2 at i iterate over so it kicks out. Oh yes, and we need to return it. Return s1. Otherwise, what good is the function? Just go through and copy it, but don't do anything with it. All right, now we need to for testing char. Let's say for clarity's sake, we're going to have source and we need to do that just because let's uh, let's have the source be testing and let's have dest and let's for testing have this completely empty so we're going to print print f and now what I like to do is include the colons the colons show you if there's dead space in between so then we'll new line and let's see, and we take dest. All right, then we're going to ft string copy and we're going to take the destination and source. Just make sure source, yes, okay. I'm just following this through because so I'm making sure that destination is S1, source is S2. So since we want to loop through while S2, so while there is a source value, it's going to assign source one is equal to that. Not source one, but destination is equal to the source. Okay, now we will, now since we've run the function, we're going to pass in this one again to verify that yes, something did happen and then return zero. All right, quit out of this. GCC wall, where? I don't know why I do, my fingers just randomly want to type extra first. So I'm just gonna give up 
and let the fingers do what they want to do. String copy, and this is taking your tea, string copy dot C. All right. Now, FT string copy. Boom. You can see that in the beginning, there was nothing because we didn't have any, we assigned it to nothing in the beginning. And then it ran through the string copy, so it did all of this, and it spit out testing in the end. So we have achieved victory. <laughs> Another way of achieving victory is if you really, really like this, I'd appreciate a thumbs up on this video. But anyways, so now that we're done with the testing, delete this, keep an extra line, make sure you norm everything. We don't need STDIO. And then you would just delete everything here, insert the header, clean it up a bit more, spacing, everything's checked out, save it, norm it, double check it. Just really make sure you do everything here and of course we got our lovely null terminator and we're returning s1 so that's it for string copy this one is a uh, pretty simple nothing nothing too much under the hood and having to worry about so thanks for watching and see you in the next one